Hello everybody. Ready to do division exercise? Yes. Today we will do four division sums with remainder and without remainder. So let's begin our work. Here is our first sum. 75 divided by 5. So let's start. First, we will write dividend in 75 in the middle. We will put the division symbol and then we will write divisor outside this. 5 is our divisor here. Now, you have to check the first digit is greater than or less than this divisor. Here you will see 7 is greater than 5. So, see the table of 5 till 7 or to get a number which is just less than 7. So let's start 5 ones are 5, 5 twos are 10. 5 twos are 10, 10 is greater than 7. So we will stop, we will write 5 ones are 5. Subtract these two and you will get 2. 5 will come down, will bring the second digit down. Now, say the table of 5 so that you get 25 or a number just less than 25 we will stop when we'll, we will get a number which is greater than 25 we will stop there now see the table of 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 twos are 15 5 fours are 20 5 fives are 25 yes we have got 25 so 5 fives are 25 minus subtract these two and what you will get a big zero. So, so what is our question? 15 is our question and remainder 0 is our remainder. So if we divide 75 balls into 5 children equally, how many balls one child will get? 15. And how many balls will be left over? 0. No balls will be left over. So let's write our answer now. Quotient Q U O T I E N T. Quotient is equal to 15. And remainder. Remainder is equal to 0. So here is our first sum. Now let's do the second one. Second sum. 117 divided by 3. We will write 117 means dividend in the middle, 3 outside the division symbol and do inspection. First digit 1. 1 is less than 3. So we will put a 0 on top of it. Now we will take these two digits together and it makes 11. Now inspection again, 11 is greater than 3 or less than 3? Yes, 11 is greater than 3. So now we will see the table of 3 to get a number which is equal to 11 or just less than 11. 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9, 3 fours are 12. Stop. Why stop? Because 12 is greater than 11. So we will take 3, 3 is our 9. Write 3 here on top of the second digit. 3, 3 is our 9. Subtract these two. What you will get? 2. Third digit is left. So bring it down. You will get 27. See the table of 3 because 27 is greater than 3. So we'll see the table of 3 to get a number which is equal to 27 or just less than 27. So see the table, we have already got 3's are 9, 3 4's are 12, 3 5's are 15, 3 6's are 18, 3 7's are 21, 3 8's are 24, 3 9's are 27. So let's stop, that's 27 we have got. Now subtract these two, again a big zero, no remainder at all. Question is 39. We will not write 039 because 0 makes no sense when or it has no value when it is written at the extreme left corner. 
आंसर क्वेश्चन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी नाइन एंड रिमाइंडर इज इक्वल टू जीरो नेक्स्ट हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट राइटिंग चिल्ड्रन वन फिफ्टी नाइन डिवीजन सिंबल सेवन नाउ इंस्पेक्शन वन इज लेस देन सेवन पुट जीरो ऑन टॉप ऑफ वन टेक दीज टू डिजिट्स टुगेदर दैट मेक्स फोर्टीन फोर्टीन इज ग्रेटर देन सेवन सो से द टेबल ऑफ सेवन सेवन वन जै सेवन सेवन टू जो फोर्टीन Two we will write on top of this second digit. That means four. Now, seven two is our fourteen. We have got subtract these two. You will get zero. Bring nine down here. Third digit we will bring down. See the table of seven. Seven ones are seven. Seven two is our fourteen. So we will stop. Fourteen is greater than nine. So we will. Take seven ones are seven. One we will write on top of nine. Seven ones are seven. We have written. Subtract these two. Two. Now we have got a remainder that is two. So if you are asked to divide hundred and forty nine chocolates among seven children, one child will get how many chocolates? Twenty-one. Each of them will get equally, but two will be left over. These two you cannot give to all seven children, isn't it? So this is our remainder. Answer. Quotient is equal to twenty-one. Remainder. Is equal to two. Last sum of the day: four hundred eight divided by four. Four hundred eight children in the middle, four outside. Now, start our inspection. Four is equal to four. So say the table of four. If this digit is less than four, then only we'll put up a zero, and you will take two digits together. Or if it is equal to this one, or it's greater than this one, then definitely you will say the table of four. Four ones are four. Four minus four zero. Bring this second digit down, which is again a zero. Now. You see, zero is less than four. So whenever a number which is less than the divisor, what you will do? Put a zero on top of it. Now bring down the third digit, that is eight. Now say the eight is greater than four. So say the table of four. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. We will stop here and we will get no remainder at all. You can put a cross or you can put a zero. Both are correct. So answer question is equal to hundred and two. Remainder is equal to zero. Clear, children? Not to worry. we will do many more sums in the next few days and definitely we will be able to do all these sums without any help so that's all for the day bye bye